It's Frontier Conference basketball from the opening tip-off to the final buzzer. Twelve of the best teams in the NAIA. Six men, six women, all fighting the right to represent at a national tournament. We bring you all the action from the Pacific Steel Four Seasons Arena right here in Great Falls. Our games are brought to you in part by First Interstate Bank, BSN Sports, Pepsi, Nike, the Gibson Hotel in Great Falls, McDonald's throughout the state of Montana, D.A. Davidson, Independence Bank, Logan Health, Conferro Sports Foundation, Clark and Louis, Northwest Energy, and Irk Hotels throughout the state. Hey, if you're ready, it is time. Set back and enjoy the call as it's time for Frontier Conference Basketball, and we're bringing it to you right now. Are you ready to unleash your awesome? Then you need 8 gig all fiber internet from TDS. You'll have the powerful internet you need to stream, game, learn, and work today, and be prepared to take on anything new you can dream up tomorrow. Imagine internet you'll never outgrow. Get 8 gig all fiber internet from TDS and embrace infinite possibility. At the University of Providence, we believe college is more than a collection of buildings, or a lecture, or a test, or even a degree. College is about connecting to something greater than yourself. The University of Providence is a private Roman Catholic liberal arts university founded in 1932 by the Sisters of Providence. And we continue to honor their vision by providing students with an education that goes beyond the classroom. An education grounded in our mission of connecting people. Connecting people with their communities, with one another, with the environment, with opportunities, with their spiritual journey, and most importantly, connecting people with their potential. The University of Providence. For more than 85 years, D.A. Davidson has strived to build relationships and trust from our first office in Montana to each of our 70 locations spread out coast to coast. We're on the ground and in your neighborhood, combining the values of a local partner with the capabilities of a national institution. We achieve strong outcomes based on mutual success, planning for future generations and building legacies that endure together. Passion, it's what drives us. When you get your hands on something that you're passionate about, there's nothing else like it. That's the value of hands-on learning. So whether your passion is painting or plumbing, engines or engineering, if you're ready to turn your passion into a profession, find us at MSU Northern.
Montana has one of the highest suicide rates in the United States. Suicide impacts people of all ages, genders, and ethnicities. On average, 300 Montanans die each year by suicide. Our best chance of stopping suicide is to stop the stigma. It's time to talk openly and honestly about mental health issues. Together, let's take the pledge to be allies against suicide. Let's talk about it. Let's talk about it. Let's talk about it. Montana. We're proud to say it's where we live and where we work. We're so much more than pretty scenery. We are all hardworking, resilient, and resourceful. The vibe is different here. Stockman Bank, Montana's brand of banking. The other guys, they think they know what special means. At Godfather's Pizza, we do special, and we do it better. We add the T. There's a Godfather's Specialty Pizza with your name on it. Classic combo, all meat combo, hot stuff. Taco, yeah, even veggie, and more. All of them piled high with the best toppings and 100% real cheese. Treat yourself special. Order specialty pizzas from Godfather's Pizza. Frontier Actors come for you coming in just minutes. semifinals it is a frontier conference so with that um, I imagine they're gonna have a national anthem here the clock is the clock has just ran down to zero and with that uh, the, the, I don't know if they're gonna do the national anthem first they also do a sportsmanship a character award that they hand out and I see the commissioner uh, Scott Campbell's over there and with holding it so maybe we're gonna do that first we've got both the teams lined up across the free throw lines uh, we got tech over there they're wearing their home whites. They're going to have the uh, copper and black trim. And they will have Western out there. They're going to be wearing their traveling blacks with the red trim. So with that, why don't we go ahead and let's, I just don't know what they're going to do. I can't believe Campbell's out there if they're going to do the national anthem first. But let's, uh, we'll do the national anthem. Let's be gone for three minutes. This is Glenn Lambert with the call, KKDI 1450 AM. And the amazing men and women in our military who have served or are currently serving to ensure our freedom. Ladies and gentlemen, our national anthem.
Water Grave here to start our event. Ladies and gentlemen, please focus your attention on the center of the court as we take this moment to recognize a champion of character, a student athlete from Montana Tech, representing Montana Tech, as selected by head coach Adam Hyatt, it's Sam Gray. Sam is a fifth-year senior from Montana Tech. Throughout his career, he has been committed to living the ideal set forth in the Champions of Character program from his first day on campus. However, as often the case in life when adversity strikes, one's true character is revealed. After earning a top spot as a rotation player for a top 10 nationally ranked program, Sam tore his ACL in a game on December 17th while in California. It was devastating for Sam and his teammates, but he didn't let that stop him from being the ultimate character guy. After surgery, Sam immediately tackled his rehab and resumed his status as a team leader. His presence on and off the floor has been instrumental in his program's success during his tenure, especially this season. A true champion of character positively impacts those around them without scoring a single point. And without Sam Gray, Montana would not be the program it is today. Give Sam a big round of applause. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you. Let's meet our starting line of four, the Bulldogs, University of Montana Western. Here we go. A six foot three junior from Seattle, number one, Jalen Stepney. A six foot two junior from LA, number 11, Kevin. A 6'6 junior from London, England, a number 12, Abby Arcano. 6'4 junior from Dillon, number 20, Michael Everfield. Rounding up your starting five, sophomore from Marsing, Idaho, number 32, Jacob Anthony. The dogs are coached by Pat Jensen, assisted by Boston and Scott. Here comes your Boston Tech Four Tickers. Your starting line. A six foot six freshman from Solon, Ohio, number one, eight star. A six foot senior from Billings, number three, Chris Paul. A six foot seven senior from Manhattan, number ten, Cole A six foot six sophomore from Geraldine, number eleven, A. One by Ankeny. And here we come in the front court. And that's going to be up against a man to man defense as you bring the ball around the perimeter. Who's got it on the far side? That's going to be Ankeny. He's looking inside, has to go to the top of the key. That's Bethel. Bethel looking inside. And they do get the ball inside to Adito. He's going to back his way inside there to see if he can do anything with it. All I can do is lose the ball. Stolen. Coming out of it. Is going to be Tech. And they're going to bring the ball in the front court. Bring the point. That's going to be Dixon. Dixon goes inside. Finds Decons. Decons on the baseline. Decons got two points. Start the scoring off for Tech. And here comes Western back in the front court. Bethel, he's going to play the point. And he goes to Adedo. He's going to clear out here at the, beyond the free throw line. Drops the ball inside. Nice pass. Nice entry pass. 
Got the ball in there for two points. That's going to be Ankeny. He's got the first basket of the ball game. Knocks things up at two. And in the front court, it's going to be Dixon. Dixon wants to work over there on the left-hand side. He's still on the dribble. And they're going to go back with the Decons at the head of the key. Decons goes right, comes back left, a little fade shot. He's a lefty. He puts that up and in. Nice move by Decons to get an easy basket inside. And here comes Western, Bethel, Bethel. Takes the ball down the corner. They're going to try to take the ball inside. That's going to be Haberfield. He gets cut off on the baseline. Has to get that ball out of the corner, and he does to Adedo. He's got a shot up. It's a nice little running, running hook shot. Up and good. Adedo's a talent. He's got some. He's got a repertoire in there of shots around that basket. And in the front court, it's going to be Dixon. Dixon now drops the ball off. It's going to be Williams at the head of key. Decon's left side. Tries to throw the ball. It was a good entry pass. Year, or year couldn't handle it. Ball gets knocked out of bounds. Tech will get it on the baseline under their basket. 4-4. Four, four, we're all knotted. 18-08 to play. Just underway. Men's semifinal. Tech's going to get the ball under their own basket. It's going to be Williams throwing it in. Nope, it's going to be Dixon that steps out there to do it. They're all in the line across the free throw line looking for something inside. He's going to have to go clear over the top. And that's Decons. Decons works his way over the right-hand side. Gives the ball to Williams. Williams goes baseline. And he gets the ball all the way down there. Nobody stopped him. He's got a wide open lap. He's got it. Breakdown of the defense as Bethel brings the ball in the front court. He's going to be picked up on this end. Out there and on him is going to be Dixon. And he's getting the ball to Nato. He's going to take it back inside with Decons on him. Shots up. It's no good. Uh, going to the floor is year. He gets it. Then we're going to have a jump ball situation. Possession arrow. Goes to Tech. So up two, they'll get the ball on the baseline. And... Western are just going to go back and get around their key down there. Give them free entry to the front court. And now coming up to play a little bit tighter is going to be Bethel. Right there at the center circle. He's got Dixon. Dixon's on the dribble. Wants to go left. Good pick by Decons. He was there. There was a go, but he couldn't handle the pass. He's rooting around on the floor for it. We're going to have a jump ball situation. Possession arrow now goes back to Western. If he could have caught the pass, it's a tough one. When you're six foot six and the pass is at your ankles, it's a long ways to go down to get it. Coming out of there is going to be Western. Bringing the ball in front court is going to be Bethel. Still playing a man-to-man -man down here. As you go to the left side, Adedo. Now over on the far side. That's going to be Haverfield. And the ball gets thrown down in the corner there. We've got bodies on the floor. And we're going to have a foul call to be the first one of the ball game. And it's going to go against Asa Williams. He gets the first foul of the ball game. It's going to be Western ball baseline. Taking it out down there is going to be Bethel. Kevin's looking for something inside. He goes over the top to Adedo. He's over there guarding by Decons. Decons is trying to push him inside. He's got the weight factor on him up and in. Adedo, he's hard to stop. He's not only a 6'6", but got a set of shoulders on him too. And here comes Dixon, left-hand side. Decons, Decons on the dribble, goes ahead of the key. They get the ball there to year. Year over now to Dixon as they do a little weave across the top. They head it. Hayden briefly open on the baseline. Now to Williams. He's on the head of the key. He's going to put a couple moves on. Stop, pop a three. It's going to be way short. Coming out of it is going to be Bethel. Bethel in the front court. He's going to be picked up there by Dixon. So he goes to Stepney. Stepney now. Adedo is going to set a pick for him on Decons and try to free him up if they can. But now Williams has got him. And now a nice pass over there to get it over to Ankeny. Ankeny just got the ball down. He's going to back his way in. No, he's going to go to Haverfield. He's got a three on the way, and it's good. Haverfield, Michael Haverfield, he's a shooter. He's a three-point threat on that. You know, I like to say he's a three-point threat, but all these guys can shoot. But Haverfield, that's kind of his specialty. And ahead of the key, that's going to be Williams. Working on the right-hand side, that's going to be... Who's that out there? No, they got a sub in there. Bellick came on the floor. I didn't see that. And now they're trying to work their way inside. That's year. He's got pretty powerful, too. Oh, he's underneath the basket. He misses it. He goes for the second shot on his rebound. And there's Adedo to knock it right back. And now it's going to be... Western ball, they're down, they're up nine to six as they bring it in the front court. And they go on the left-hand side, and that's gonna be Stepney, he's gonna step back and shoot one, it's long three here, it's up and it's in. You know, I think they put those three-point lines out there just as a suggestion. These guys shoot, they're nowhere close to that line. And now Decons, down six to 12, he gets the ball, working on the right-hand side to Dixon. Dixon looking inside, nothing there, he's got Bellick down in the corner. Bellick, gonna put a couple moves on, he's gonna go baseline, he's got a shot up in there, it's up and it rolls out no good. Rebound comes off. That's going to be Ackney that's got it. And here comes Western back on the attack. 
in the front court, working at the head of the key. A little give, but there wasn't to the go there, so he's going to give the ball to Adato. He tries to put it inside. Nice defense being played. That's going to be Decons gets the swat, knocks the ball out of bounds, and now we have multiple substitutions coming on the floor. Holy smokes, holy smokes, folks! There's six of them coming on. Uh, we'll see who I can get there. I see Camden Lawrence coming on. Camden is six three out of Missoula, Montana, play for Hellgate, and also coming on is number twelve. And this is going to be Keely Bake. Uh, he's a 5'11 guard, and he's out of Fairfield, Montana. Who else came out there? They had another one came on there. It's going to be Afani Okaki. Okaki and Adibo, both on the floor at the same time. Announcers ought to get paid more money, right, folks? And they're going to be a stolen. Coming out of the way, there's going to be Lawrence. Lawrence gets it to Bake. Bake over the far side. Doug Williams, who's still out there. He's going to drive it across the top of the key and give it to Bellick. Bellick, he's on the drive. Tries to go baseline. Good defense being played by Stepney. Stepney comes out of the steal. He brings the ball in the front court. Picks up his dribble there. Looking for Haverfield. That's not there. So he goes down on the baseline there. Coming in on the shot. And there's going to be Fitchner who's out there. He ends up losing the ball. Coming out of there is Bellick. Bellick to Bake. And Bake is in the front court. They're still down 6-12 to 12 at the 14-29 mark here in the first half. Men play halves. Women play quarters at the NAI level. And now they get the ball baseline, trying to work his way inside with a couple moves. Nothing's working for him. He has to get rid of the ball. That's Okaki. Gets the ball outside. That's working for Asa Williams. He's got a three-pointer. It's up and it's good. And he cuts that deficit in half, 12-9 now. And out there on the floor uh, is going to be Quincy Taylor. He's a 6'2 junior out of Sacramento, California, and a go-to guy for this team. Got a great offensive game. Works hard on the defensive end. Now they're on the far side to Stepney. Stepney gets the ball down the baseline. Trying to back his win. There was pitcher. That's not going to happen. Coming out of there with it is going to be Tech. Tech got the bake. Bake, he's looking at a wide open lane to the basket. They closed it on him. Goes to the free throw line. Shots up. Off the front of the rim. No good. Western with rebound. Stepney's got it. He's going to walk it into the front court. 13-37 to play first half. He's on the far side of the floor looking for something inside. Nothing there. So he goes across the top. Out there is going to be Berkeley. That's Jackson Berkeley. And he gets the ball to Haverfield. Haverfield takes it to the hole. Fouled in the act of shooting. And Jackson Berkeley is going to go to the free throw line. And not before we have a timeout. So at the 13-27 mark with the Bulldogs up 12-9, we're going to take a timeout. And it looks like it's going to be a 30-second timeout. For more than 85 um, years, D.A. Davidson has strived to back. build relationships and trust. From our first office in Montana, to each of our 70 locations spread out coast to coast, we're on the ground and in your neighborhood, combining the values of a local partner with the capabilities of a national institution. We achieve strong outcomes based on mutual success, planning for future generations and building legacies that endure together. How many pages got left? 30. Break time. Good looking out. I got oh. you, I got you. Buy one, get one for a dollar is back. So double up or mix and match. Ba -da -ba -ba -ba. The number four team, Montana Western. Western, however, has a lead early on, 12 to nine. And they're going to go to the free throw line, see if they can expend, extend that lead. And who are they going to send there? It's going to be. Michael Haverfield. Michael, 6'4", junior. He's out of Dillon. Local boy, makes good at the free throw. Michael's got one more to go. Men still play uh, the halves, which means that a one and one start on seventh foul. I think there's only level of ball that even has that one and one anymore. And then they get two shots after ten. And now Bake, a little full court pressure, goes far side over there, out on the floor. Bringing it there is going to be Lawrence. Lawrence working his way inside. He's got a layup up, no good. He misses it. And we got Bake. He was in position for the rebound. We had 
Western was on the back, and so we're going to pick up a foul on Western, and it's going to be tech ball baseline. As Adedo comes back on the floor, and joining him out there for Western is going to be number 21. That's Caden Tolson. He's a 6'4 sophomore. He's out of Idaho Falls. And we have another sub as Dixon comes back on the floor, and going to the bench is going to be Williams. Taking the bat on the baseline is going to be Dixon. Dixon's looking for something inside. If they can find it, and he has to go over the top all the way out here in the hands of Okaki. And he goes over here now. He's get the ball to Bake. Bake, far side, hit the decons. Deep in the corner, that's Lawrence. He looks at the shot. He doesn't take it. Defense is out on him. So goes now baseline, a little spin move, trying to get his way inside. That's going to be Okaki. He can't hold on to it, though. Ball gets knocked out of bounds. It's going to be Western's ball. Good defense that time by the Bulldogs. And they're going to get the ball out right over there in front of their bench. And they get the ball in bounds to Quincy Taylor. Taylor's in the front court, bakes on him. And they're going to try to pick him off. They do. He goes over the far side. That's going to be Haverfield. And gets the ball. Had a key, but falling down with it. It's going to be Stepney. Stepney's going to have to get the ball out of there. And they're going to have a timeout. No, they're going to call a jump first. I thought the coach would get a timeout, but he didn't get it done. That's a jump ball situation. Ball's going to go back over to Tech. He just stumbled as he came across the key. And I said a minute ago that that was uh, Haverfield. That's Jackson Berkeley that's out there in his place. And now it's Bake. Bake trying to work his way inside against that defense. He'll be trying now to Hayden Decon's a little spin move inside. Beautiful. But he misses the shot. And he ties up for the rebound, however. Possession arrow goes to the Bulldogs. Nice moves by Hayden to get in there. Didn't finish. Still 14-9 bull, uh, Bulldogs. And they get the ball to Taylor. Taylor will bring the front court. Quincy, he's a junior out of Sacramento, California. Head of the key now, that's Adedo. Adedo, a couple spin moves. Trying to get his way inside. Good defense being played on him by Okaki. And the shot's up. It's no good. Decons with the rebound. And they're going to take the ball and they're running. They got a beautiful dunk down in there. They got the ball all the way down the floor. To Fanyi. Okay, he gets his basket. That's a nice slam dunk. That gets him within a, a possession. 14-11 now with the ball. Head of the key, trying to get it inside, not working. He's going to be Qu Taylor. Now they go over the sideline. They got a shot up over there. It's off the glass, no good. But we're going to have a double dribble. That was going to be on Tolson. Had a nice looking drive to the hole, but he double dribbled that basketball. Still at 11.38 to play. Still down three. Here comes Dixon in the front court. Gives the ball out to Bake. Bake's going to go across the top of the key. Now it's going to be OKK. He's got the ball back to Lawrence. Lawrence, head of the key. Decons. Decons gives it to Bake. Bake over the, you know, to deep in the corner. We're going to have Lawrence. He looks like he's going to shoot the two, but he says takes it to the hole. Shot's no good. Decons with the rebound. Good defense being played, however, by Jackson. Berkeley, and the ball comes over to Bulldogs' front court. It's going to be in the hands of Taylor. Taylor being guarded by Bake, head of the key now. That's going to be Berkeley. Berkeley hands that ball off into Tolson. Tolson, now it's gone this side to Stepney. They're going to jump Stepney. He's still on the dribble. Bake's got him. They're going to try to set a pick, try to free him up. Tries to go baseline. Good defense by Bake. Shots from the corner. It's up. It's no good. Fouled in the act of shooting. And I think they're going to call that foul on Okike. And it is OKK. Okay, okay. That's going to be his first foul. And it's going to send Jalen Stepney to the free throw line. 6'3", junior out of Seattle. We got three ore diggers waiting to come on the floor after this first free throw. Jalen, leading scorer for this team at the free throw line. And that first one does not drop. And here comes our sum in. And Belich is coming back on. Uh, year is coming back on, and I think that's Williams came back on the floor. And at the free throw line, shooting the second of two is going to be Jalen Stepney. Nice high archer. That one's good. And now it's a four-point lead at the 10.53 mark. Bringing the ball in the front court is going to be Dixon. Dixon is going to be guarded by Taylor when he gets to the front court. He's at the head of the key. They're going to set up that offense. There's Belich. Belich to Williams, out of the key now, the year. Left-hand side, that's Lawrence. 
Lawrence on the dribble, down in the corner now, Belich. Belich is going to face the basket, try to work his way across the key, top of the key, Year. Year looking inside, that's where he finds Williams. Williams turns, faces the basket, being guarded by Stepney, goes right around him, shots up, shots good. And now it's a two-point game as Taylor brings the ball in the front court. On this end, he's got Dixon waiting for him. They're going to try to set a pick to get rid of him. He's, nobody's guarding him at the head of the key. He's got a three-pointer in the way. It's good. Quincy Taylor with a long three-pointer gets that five-point lead back in the as they bring in the front court. That's going to be Tech. Dixon. Dixon wants to go left-hand side on the dribble. He gets picked up there by Berkeley. Shots up. Shots good. Caught that basket. He's going to go to the free-throw line. He went right around Jackson Berkeley. Yeah, go to that free-throw line as we have a horn sounds. As we have a substitute coming on the floor as Haverfield comes back on and uh, going to the bench will be Stepney for the Bulldogs at the free throw line trying to finish off a three point play is going to be Krishan Dixon. He's a, out of Billings, Montana. Free throw is no good. Rebounds comes out of there. Up three now. It's going to be Taylor bringing it in the front court for the Bulldogs. Wait for him here is that defense. He's got Dixon. They're going to try to pick, get rid of him. Tried to get to Okake. He can't get a hold of his hands on it. And coming out of there with his gun on the turnover is going to be Tech. Working it down the floor, trying to get inside. It's going to be Williams. Says go over the top. There's Michael Year. He's got a three pointer on the way. He's six foot seven, but he shoots that three just as well as anybody. And now we're all knotted at 18 at the 932 mark. In the front court, here comes Taylor. Taylor, head of the key now. That man to man defense are playing. He's going to go right hand side. And that's Haverfield, head of the key, far side now. And that's Berkeley. Berkeley looking inside, looking for Scudders. He'll shoot up a three of his own. That one rolls out no good. Year's got the rebound, gets the ball to Dixon. And now with a chance to take the lead, Tech is in the front court. Going to work on the right-hand side. They jump the pick. Goes over here on the left side. And that's going to be Lawrence. Lawrence now goes to the baseline. Bellich, she's got one up. It's good. Little 10, 12-foot shot from the baseline. And now the Ore Diggers have the lead. Front court now. Taylor. Dixon's going to wait for him. Year's going to jump the pick and get the ball over back to Okiki. Takes the ball inside. Little spin move. He's got a nice shot. It's no good. Rebound comes off. Dixon's got it. He's going to quickly get in the front court for Tech. Over on the right-hand side, he's going to slow things up, let the offense get down. Year, head of the key. Drops it off to Williams. Williams, he's going to dribble to the head of the key. Go over here. Lawrence has got a three-pointer from the wing. It's up. It is good. And Lawrence gives the Ordiggers a five-point lead at the 824 mark. Front court. And they're going to have a 30-second timeout, I believe, by Western as they talk about some things. Look up there. It's 8.21 to play here in the first half. Ward Diggers have 23. Bulldogs have 18. Let's be gone for 30 seconds. KQDI, 1450 AM. We invite you to stay at one of the newest hotels in Great Falls. Warm, friendly atmosphere and a friendly staff that's ready to assist you in your every need. When you check in, this is the kind of room you will receive clean and comfortable where you get wonderful breakfast and how about a nice glass of wine upon your check-in easy check-in with your professional team to assist you make your next reservation at the gibson downtown great falls turns out i'm calling a dado okiki a couple of strange names but they got him on the wrong team a dado he's with the bulldogs and with the ball now is going to be Bethel. Bethel is going to bring it ahead of the key. And the Dado is going to set a pick for him. He's still on the dribble, trying to get it inside. Goes over the left hand and taking it in the paint. Trying to get a shot off in there. It's going to be Tolson. Shots up. Shots good. And now up three. Here comes Tech into the front court. Dixon hands it off. Head of the key to Williams. To Belich. And now Year. Year looking inside. Defense out on him. That's... Gets the ball inside the bell. They should have a jump ball situation. Good defense being played in there by the Bulldogs. Reaching in there and getting his hands on that ball. is going to be Bethel and his jump ball situation. Possession arrow is going to stay right down here with Tech. Baseline. It'll be Dixon to throw it in. They're lined up all four from sideline to sideline. And they're trying to go where? They'll have to go over the top. There's nothing there. And they get the ball to Bethel. He's going to turn around and put a quick shot up. No good. Rebound comes off on the far side. That's going to be... Taylor that's got it in the front court. He's down. He's got a lap up the glass and good. He wanted the foul, didn't get it. He'll have to take the basket. Gets him within one point, 23-22. Tech with the lead, Tech with the ball. Dixon, front court. He's at the head of the key. Defense picks him up there. He's trying to get his way around Haverfield. And Haverfield gets a check. Good defense being played that time by Michael. 
And in the front court, that's going to be Taylor. Taylor picked up by Dixon. They're going to have to slow things down. A Dado to set a pick. Let us roll. They can't get the ball to him. That goes on the far side. Now they get it into him. And Dado, he's going to come in with a hard drive. Shots up. He hits a four. Hard. Count that basket. He's going to go to the free throw line. Uh, Abby Adedo. Quite a take to the hole that time. He gets two points. Hit the floor hard. They're going to have to do some mopping the sweat up off of that one. And Western is back in the lead, 24-23. And we have a horn sounding as substitute came on. I missed him. And at the free throw line, Abby Adedo. He's 6'6", junior out of London. And the back to the rim, no good. Rebound comes out, and there's Haverfield. Hustling to get it. Gets the ball back to the Bulldogs. Bulldog Adedo says, give it right back to me. I'm going to go right back inside and work. He's got a little flip shot up. It's no good. Williams gets a rebound. And now Tech will go on offense. He's going to be in the front court. He's going to be picked up there on the defense by Bethel. And now he's over on the head of the key. Works on the far side. That's Decon's back out there. And we got some, some people sho- pushing and shoving inside the key off ball. And it looks like it's going to go against Western. And it's going to be a foul on the year, I believe. No. Uh, foul is going to be on Bethel. And that's his first. And we're going to go to a timeout. So it's 6.50 to play here in the first half. Bulldogs 24, Ordiggers 23. Why don't we go ahead and take a break for a minute? We'll be back. KQDI, 1450 AM. Scrap metal for cash? Come visit us at Central Montana's leader in recycling, steel, etc. in Great Falls. Our center processes steel, stainless steel, aluminum, copper, brass, and lead. And we pay cash for scrap based on weight. We also accept batteries, electric motors, paper, cardboard, and more. And our roll-off containers are available for any scrap projects you have. We even buy and recycle junk cars. Trade your scrap for cash. Visit us at steeletc.com or call us at 761-4848. Lundheimer with the call. We've got the Frontier Conference in town. This is game one on Friday, and it's a semifinal game between the number one team in the league, Montana Tech. Number four team challenging is going to be the Western Montana Bulldogs. Right now the Bulldogs are up by one point, and it's going to be a Tech ball on the baseline underneath their own basket. And they're going to bring the ball in. They do. They get it into Williams. Williams on the, takes one dribble, picks it up there. Goes over the top of the key. That's Belich now decons, decons to Dixon. Dixon looks at that baseline. Instead, he goes across the top. Defense right there. Nice job as they pick him up. Tried to take the ball inside. Year was going to the basket. Ball gets swatted out of his hand. Half the crowd didn't like that call. But it's going to send Michael Year to the free throw line. Six, seven sophomore out of Idaho Falls, Idaho. He'll be shooting two. They're going to call that foul on Jalen Stepney. Michael's got two free throws coming, and the first one's off the back of the rim, no good. Substitute's coming on, and here comes Bake back on. And the other one's waiting to come in for the shooter. Keely Bake, he's out of Fairfield. Second free throw's no good either, and coming out of there with a rebound is going to be Bethel for the Bulldogs. He's going to bring the front court. Bake's going to pick him up right there. He wants to work on the right-hand side. That's Haverfield. Haverfield gets the ball ahead of the key. Now Haverfield's going to put up a three-pointer. It's good. Michael Haverfield, you can't even give him an inch. He'll shoot that ball in a second. Now it's a four-point Western lead. Bake in the front court. Works his way to the end of the free-throw line. Goes to inside. That's going to be your working hard. He's got a layup. It's up and good. He's so strong. He just turns his shoulders and starts moving people out of there. It's all legal. And now down or up to, here comes Western. Out there on the floor for him with the ball is going to be Jacob Ankeny. And he's going to throw the ball. It's going to be stolen by Decons. Decons bringing up the floor. There's Bake. Bake gets fouled in the act of shooting. Bake's going to go to the free throw line. Nice job by Keeley as 
he was on the left side of the basket. He went over the right-hand side to pick up the foul on the way. And uh, he, he did not make the shot, but he got another foul on Bethel. And he's going to go to the free throw line. That's two on Bethel. And Keely Bake got an opportunity to tie this game from the free throw line. Keeley, he's going to, he's got two shots coming. First one's on the way, and that one is a nice high archer, and it's good. Being from Fairfield, you know he can shoot. They've had a, so many good basketball teams out there in Fairfield. It's just a basketball kind of town. Substitutes come back on. I see back on the floor now is going to be Quincy Taylor, and Adato's out there with him. And Bake's got one more free throw on the way. And this was a nice high archer, good as well. And now we're not at a 27. Still no pressure by Tech. They're going to allow Western to get the ball in the front court. And then they're going to take over that man-to-man -man defense. And bringing the ball up in front of it, that's going to be Stepney. Stepney makes a lazy pass. That's a bad idea. They're fortunate to catch it, and they get it back. Stepney now, once again, looking for a pass to the head of the key. He says, I'll just shoot it. I can't pass it. I'll shoot it. And the shot's no good. Rebound goes out of bounds. Referees come together, and they're going to give the ball to Tech. Right in front of the tech bench, that's kind of the, the call they had to make, or they'd have been hearing about it from, from Coach Hyatt. You can just about bank on that. Bakes in the front court. He's working left hand side of the floor. That's Williams. Williams on the dribble. Good defense being played on him by Taylor. Now he gets his way in the paint. Little spin move. Shots up in there, and it's sweet and good. Nice shot there by Asa Williams. Little fadeaway five foot jumper right in the paint. And here in the front court, now down two is the Bulldogs. And they get the ball out there, and they uh, they missed an over and back. Referee was out of position. Yeah, they're not liking them in the on the bench, but they get the ball back out in the Haverfield. He'll go back. He shoots a little five footer. He doesn't have to be 20 feet from the basket. He can shoot the close ones too. Here are all not at the 29s. Bake with the ball. Bake to Williams. Williams going to put a couple moves on, trying to see if he can get a raise around. He, that's what they call an ankle breaker. As the defender came down. And I'm not sure who they're going to give that tip into. There was a couple of tech guys there. Uh, I'll give it to Hayden. Hayden Decons. He was right there. Now here comes Taylor. Baseline. Goes underneath the basket. Kicks the ball out to the top. Trying to take the ball inside. It's going to be Stepney. Stops. Pops on the free throw line. Too long. Rebound comes out. Coming out of there with it. It's going to be Adato. Adato with a couple moves inside. Loses control of the ball. And going to the ball. Ground and getting it is Tech. Are they going to call a Tech? What are they going to call? They're going to say that Tech was laying on the baseline. Well, good hustle. That's Bridger Deaton that's out there. He's out of Missoula. Plays his ball for Hellgate. And he's playing, of course, for Tech. And now they got some sweat to mop up. There are a lot of bodies on the ground there. 4 7 to play here in the first half. And down two, the Bulldogs throw it in. And they go all the way over the top to Dato. Abby looking to do something with it. Decon's playing defense on him. He says, I'm just going to drive you in. I'm going to get back up, try to back you in the paint. Good defense by Decons, but he can't keep him away from class. Up and in. Uh, Dado, he's just too big, too strong. You're going to have to double down when he gets the ball doing that. Don't let him dribble his way in there. And now Bake with the ball. All not of the 31s gives the ball. And that's going to be Belich. And Belich goes left-hand side. He's ahead of the key. That's Deaton. Deaton hands it off to Williams as he goes by. And he tries to throw it inside. Good defense playing by the Bulldogs. Coming out of the way is going to be Haverfield. And over the left-hand side, three-pointer up over there. That was Taylor that shot it. Shot's no good. Rebound comes off. Williams has got it and text quickly in the front court. Left-hand side, Belich, he'll shoot a three of his own. It's up off the front of the rim. That one's no good. adato has got the rebound, and he gets the ball to Taylor, and they're going to walk it up at the 316 mark. We're all not at the 31s as he brings it into the front court. Substitutes coming over there on the bench. And as Coach Hyatt's going to make a couple changes. And now we're going to go left-hand side, left side of the free throw. That's going to be Stepney. He's going to just work his way inside, a little floater from the lane. It's no good. Coming out of there is Bake with the rebound. He wants to go to the right-hand side to Hayden. Decons back to Bake. Bake goes baseline, picks the ball. Beautiful shot pass to Deaton. He's got a layup. Deaton, he gets some first points of the ball game on a beautiful setup by Keeley Bake. And now with 2.41 to play here, down two, we're going to have Bulldogs in the front court. That's going to be... Oh, good defense being played that time by Decons and Bake as they force a turnover and coming out of there is going to be Bake with the ball. He's at the head of the key. Defense cuts him off there. He goes to Williams. Williams, he hands it off to Decons. Far right side. 
Head of the key, Deaton, now it's going to be Bellich. Bellich takes in the paint. Defense being played on him by Haverfield. Shots up, and that's good. And now it's a four-point lead. Largest lead of the ball game by Tech. 2-11 to play in the first half yet. And here they come in the front court. On this side, it's going to be Taylor. Taylor to Adato. He's going to go deep in the field. Uh, corner down there, Haverfield. He puts up a three. That one's no good. I think that's his first miss in the ball game. And now Bake. He's in the front court. Free throw line. Nobody's going to guard him there. I'll shoot it. Oh, did I say free throw line? I meant top of the key. They're going to give him three. And now it's a 38 to 31 lead. Keely Bake. Big three point shot right there for Tech. And now here comes Taylor down three. They're going to poke the ball away from him. Adato goes to the back court to get it. Now he's in the front court. He's got a head of steam behind him. A little Euro step. Yeah, let's call that a Euro on the Asia step. He took a third one. He doesn't believe it, but he did. I always thought that Euro step was borderline traveling anyway. And that one, he had a whole extra step on it. And they were long ones. He looked like a triple jumper there. And now with a seven-point lead with a minute 35 to play, uh, Asa Williams goes off the floor. And he looks like he's not doing well over there. But coming on, we got Bake and Belich bringing in the front court. Gets the ball over in the hands of Lawrence, who's back out there. Far side, Bake. Bake, head of the key, looking to do something with it. He goes Year. Head of the key now, left-hand side. That's going to be Belich. Year trying to set a pick for him, free him up. Now it's going to be Year. He's got his back to the basket. He's got a lot of size on the defense on him, and nothing they can do. Two points right up over the top of Christian Pitcher. Pitcher just not big enough to stop him when he gets in that low block, and now it's a nine-point lead at the minute five to play. Bulldogs starting to lose control of this game. They've been at the whole game. They got the ball to Haverfield. Haverfield, little spin move inside. Turns around, has to kick it all the way out. And now Taylor's going to set up something. He's at a year ahead of the key, and they're going to foul on Bellick. Excuse me, a foul on Taylor. He did run right into year. I thought maybe there's a little bit of acting there by year. He's such a big guy. I can't believe, well, Taylor's a big guy, though, too. But uh, he forced him a couple steps back, and uh, they're going to pick up the foul. And it's going to go back over to Tech, and Bakes got the ball. He's in the front court with Taylor on him. Gives the ball a year at the head of the key. Spins, looks. There's Decons. Going to bring it ahead of the key himself. And now Bake. Bake looks at that three point shot. Taylor's on him. He has to go to Year. Year now to Bake. He's going to cast one from the wing. It's up and off the front of the rim. No good. Rebound comes off. Far side defense. Coming out of there with it. It's going to be Berkeley for Western. And he gets the ball to Stepney. And Stepney will bring in the front court. They're down nine. 30 seconds to play. There is about a six second difference between the shot clock and the game clock. So they're going to stand out there and hold the ball for a few seconds. Until Lawrence comes out, makes Stepney do something with it. He's going to go to the free throw line, stop. He'll shoot from there. It's good. Stepney's a shooter, but he left time on the clock. 13 seconds as Belich brings it into the front court. And now there's 10. Belich going to get a year to set a pick for him. He's going to go right side. Good step. Good job breaking the, uh, breaking that play up. But then they got the go as he went down into year as he went to the basket. He's fouled in the act of shooting. And year, Michael Year is going to go to the free throw line. They're up seven. Still 2.3 seconds left on the clock as picking up his second foul is going to be Jackson Berkeley. Michael Ewer, he is 6'7". Uh, He's out of Idaho. Idaho Falls, Idaho. Free throws up and good. 6'7", 220. That's a big man. And he's got one more free throw. First one's good. Now they're up eight. Can he make it nine? Yes, he No, he can't. It was all but in, but it came out of there. They're going to launch one the length of the floor. And it hits the backboard. I'll give him that. Doesn't get any points for it. But we reached the half. I look up there on that belt the back scoreboard that Oregon Diggers have 41. The Bulldogs have 33 as we get to the half. Why don't we go ahead and take a break for a couple minutes. I'll figure out some, do some math and get the scores here for you. And we'll come back with a wrap-up of the first half. This has been Glenn Lime over the call. This is KQDI, 1450 AM, 97.5 FM. ready to unleash your awesome? Then you need 8 gig all fiber internet from TDS. You'll have the powerful internet you need to stream, game, learn, and work today, and be prepared to take on anything new you can dream up tomorrow. Imagine internet you'll never outgrow. Get 8 gig all fiber internet from TDS and embrace infinite possibility.
At the University of Providence, we believe college is more than a collection of buildings, or a lecture, or a test, or even a degree. College is about connecting to something greater than yourself. The University of Providence is a private Roman Catholic liberal arts university founded in 1932 by the Sisters of Providence. And we continue to honor their vision by providing students with an education that goes beyond the classroom, an education grounded in our mission of connecting people, connecting people with their communities, with one another, with the environment, with opportunities, with their spiritual journey, and most importantly, connecting people with their potential. The University of Providence. For more than 85 years, DA Davidson has strived to build relationships and trust from our first office in Montana to each of our 70 locations spread out coast to coast. We're on the ground and in your neighborhood combining the values of a local partner with the capabilities of a national institution. We achieve strong outcomes based on mutual success, planning for future generations and building legacies that endure together. Passion, it's what drives us. When you get your hands on something that you're passionate about, there's nothing else like it. That's the value of hands-on learning. So whether your passion is painting or plumbing, engines or engineering, if you're ready to turn your passion into a profession, find us at MSU Northern. Montana has one of the highest suicide rates in the United States. Suicide impacts people of all ages, genders, and ethnicities. On average, 300 Montanans die each year by suicide. Our best chance of stopping suicide is to stop the stigma. It's time to talk openly and honestly about mental health issues. Together, let's take the pledge to be allies against suicide. Let's talk about it. Let's talk about it. Let's talk about it. Montana. We're proud to say it's where we live and where we work. We're so much more than pretty scenery. We are all hardworking, resilient, and resourceful. The vibe is different here. Stockman Bank, Montana's brand of banking. The other guys, they think they know what special means. At Godfather's Pizza, we do special, and we do it better. We add the T. There's a Godfather specialty pizza with your name on it. Classic combo, all meat combo, hot stuff, taco, yeah, even veggie, and more. All of them piled high with the best toppings and 100% real cheese. Treat yourself special. Order specialty pizzas from Godfather's Pizza. My name is Matt Allen. I'm the Director of Admissions at the University of Montana Western. Montana Western is the only U.S. public institution uh, in the country that operates on a block scheduling model called Experience One. Instead of your semester looking like this in a traditional system, the block schedule at Montana Western looks like this. 
This innovative approach allows students to really focus on that one homework area, have one final, uh, communicate with one professor. Uh, more importantly, there's one professor communicating with that class. The big difference between Montana Western and other institutions is that our students typically have two to three years of experience in their field of study. And it's experience that employers and grad schools are looking for. And like I said, it's experience that a lot of college students don't typically have at that point in time in their academic career. Student success is our top priority. So our faculty and staff are here to help students through their entire student experience. If you are on the fence about ordering McDonald's, consider this a sign. And that sign is to get a satisfied breakfast sandwich for just two dollars when you order it on the app. Ba -da -ba -ba -ba. Still? Yeah. How many pages got left? Thirty. Break time. Good looking out. I got you. Buy one, get one for a dollar is back. So double up or mix and match. Ba -da -ba -ba -ba. Here we go. The Heritage Inn is just off I-15 in Great Falls and minutes from the C.M. Russell Museum, the Lewis and Clark Interpretive Center, Giant Springs State Park, and many other attractions. You'll be near Malmstrom Air Force Base, Great Falls International Airport, and the River's Edge Trail along the Missouri River. After a day of travel, sightseeing, or fly fishing, unwind in the hot tub and take a dip in our heated pool. There's an exercise facility and a steam room. We have a full range of dining and entertainment options, including the Max Casino and Sports Bar, the Palomino Coffee Bar, and the Willow Creek Restaurant. Your accommodations will include satellite TV, in-room movies, a refrigerator, a microwave, a coffee and tea maker, and high-speed Wi-Fi. For an unforgettable trip to Great Falls, make your reservation at the Heritage Inn. Scrap metal for cash? Come visit us at Central Montana's leader in recycling, steel, etc. in Great Falls. Our center processes steel, stainless steel, aluminum, copper, brass, and lead. And we pay cash for scrap based on weight. We also accept batteries, electric motors, paper, cardboard, and more. And our roll-off containers are available for any scrap projects you have. We even buy and recycle junk cars. Trade your scrap for cash. Visit us at steeletc.com or call us at 761-4848. This season, score big with one of our many cars under $30,000. Talk about winning plays. Our financing team is here to help you with affordable options. We offer payments under $500, and that means more money for your fantasy football bets. With our certified pre-owned lineup, every car is thoroughly inspected, so you can drive with confidence. That means getting to the game without worry. Just over the hill from high prices. AMI is advanced metering infrastructure. We can talk to the meters, the meters can talk to us. So we're able to be very proactive in making sure that customers have reliable and stable power. We actually are stopping outages from happening 
by looking at the data coming back from these meters. That's the overall goal, is to provide our customers a safe and reliable solution that's cost effective. And this is the start of that. No calories, no sweeteners, all smiles, bubbly sparkling water. It's fourth down, seconds on the clock. He hands it off, finds a hole in the middle. Oh, oh, Brian, clear. Not the Brian moves! I can't believe it! Pizza, better with Pepsi. <sighs> Montana, the last best place. And we believe the best state to do business. Like many of our clients, Farmers Union Insurance was born and raised in Montana. We started as a couple of farmers agreeing on their good word to insure each other. More than 100 years later, and our foundation is the same, our word is still our promise. Providing protection when it's needed most. With our local claims adjusters and Montana roots, we bring peace of mind that can only be offered by us, the largest mutual insurance company domiciled in Montana. We are committed to you and believe in the true value of buying local. So come see us. Our agents live where you live. unleash your awesome? Then you need 8 gig all fiber internet from TDS. You'll have the powerful internet you need to stream, game, learn, and work today, and be prepared to take on anything new you can dream up tomorrow. Imagine internet you'll never outgrow. Get 8 gig all fiber internet from TDS and embrace infinite possibility. Back to back a three feet. So we've had a couple of teams that have been dominating this conference. But, you know, you take a look at, at like this game. Uh, you got the number one team against the number four team. And the number four you know, the, the teams are so close. There's so much talent in this league. It's on any given night. You've got to show up to play because the team you're playing, they've got some talent too. So it's uh, exciting basketball to watch. Uh, we're fortunate here in Great Falls that we have the Argos. I wish we get a little bit more attendance to come watch them because it really is quality ball. They play local kids. Texas, uh, Argos start three kids from Two kids from CMR. They got a third one that comes off the bench. So they got the local flavor. It's quality basketball. Come on out and watch them. They're going to get ready for the start of the second half. The Bulldogs don't have the lead, but they get the ball. And they bring it in bounds. They're going to go right into Bethel. Bethel works on the left-hand side. And he gets to Adato. Adato working his way inside. They're going to try to get the ball in the basket if they can. They got Williams fronting him. And there he's got the ball. He, tries to lo he loses it. Coming out of the way, it's going to be Decons. Decons has got a dunk. And he slams that baby home. Aiden Decons. Right out of Fort Benton High School. I watched him slam at that same basket during this Class C Divisionals here. He's always had the serious hops. Good basketball player for Tech and for the Longhorns for that matter. Now Bethel, he goes baseline, shots up from underneath, no good, but putting right back him in, doing a nice job on the glass. That's going to be Ackney, Jacob Ackney, 6'8". He's out of Marsing, Idaho. And it's still that eight-point lead, 43-35 with the ball is going to be Dixon. Dixon, that's year standing ahead of the key, looking for something inside. Gives the ball back over to right side, Dixon. Dixon with Bethel playing good defense on him. He goes the, out there on the floor. is going to be Belich. Belich. we got a Dato. He's going to try to take him inside. A Dato reaches, swipes that ball away. Coming out of with it is going to be Bethel. Kevin with a nice move inside. Shots up. Shots good. Beautiful take to the hole. Kevin Bethel, he's got another basket in the ball game. And into the front court comes Dixon. And they're going to slow down, let them set up their offense. He's at the head of the key. And he's got... Bethel on him, takes the paint, has to pick up his dribble there. He's going to have to get out of there, and he does. He gets the ball to year. Back out to Bethel, head of the key, right side. Williams now back to Dixon. He's going to go all the way inside this time. Shot's up, no good. He's fouled in the act of shooting. 
It looks like Jacob Ackeny is going to pick up another foul. Was he on the ground? Was he shooting? They said he was shooting. Well, shows what I know. They're going to call the foul on Kevin Bethel. That's his third. That's even worse. If you're a Bulldog fan, shots on the way. It's off the front of the rim, no good. Dixon's got another one coming. He's out of Billings, Montana. Christian is. Nice left-handed stroke. That one's good. And now it's 44-37. 18-33 to play second half. With the ball coming to the front court with his three fouls, going to be Kevin Bethel. Coach Jensen's going to leave him out there. He's a good player. He needs him out there. Head of the key now. They're going to go over the left-hand side. That's where we'll find Ankeny. He takes a couple dribbles. He's got a year on him. Goes inside Haverfield. He's got a shot from the baseline. It's no good. Rebound comes off. And it goes up and in. Nice job by Ackney as he gets inside there. Puts a rebound back up. He's going to go to the free throw line. I'm not going to guess who fouled him this time. They'll give it to Year. His second. And at the free throw line is Jacob, Jacob Ankeny. He's out of Marsing, Idaho. I don't even know where that is. He's just a sophomore. Free throw's up and good. Now he's cut the lead to four points. 44 to 40 as Dixon's going to bring the ball in the front court. Bethel waiting for him there. And he works over here on the right-hand side. And they're staying in that man-to-man -man defense to bring the ball ahead of the key. Now it's going to be Williams. Williams decide to Belich. Now to Dixon. Dixon with Haverfield on him goes back down to Belich. And he's putting it over the top of Bethel. Shot's no good. Rebound comes off. Stepney's got it. He gets the ball to Bethel, and Kevin's going to bring it in the front court. He's at the head of the key now. He's working on the left-hand side on the dribble still. He's got Dixon in front of him. And now he goes back over to the head of the key. That's going to be Ankeny. Ankeny takes one dribble, spins, looks inside, nothing there. And he makes a dangerous pass, which fortunately gets knocked right back out to him. Looks a while like Dixon's going to come out of there with that. And now they go in the corner. That's going to be all the way in. Bethel shots, layups up, count that basket. He's going to go to the free throw line. Nice, take to the hole by Kevin Bethel. He's a 6'2 junior out of Los Angeles. And Decons picks up his first foul of the ball game. As yeah, we're going to bring some substitutes on the floor, Lawrence is coming back on, and Bake coming back on to the bench goes Dixon and Decons. And at the free throw line, trying to finish off a three point play, Kevin Bethel. They're down two. Can he make it one? You see the difference in this league. I mean, there's not a whole lot of difference between these teams. They're all so talented. He makes the free throw. They're down one. And now Bake's going to take over the point for Tech. Waiting on this, this end. That's going to be Bethel. Gives the ball a year. He's going to go over the left-hand side. Has to pick up his dribble. Good defense being played by Ackney. And goes back to Williams. Williams, little jab step. He's going to put one up from way out. It's no good. Adato, he goes up in the skies for that rebound. And now with a chance to take the lead, here comes in the front court. The Western Bulldogs, far side of the floor. That's going to be <coughs> throwing underneath the basket. And Hammerfield just drains one from way out there. So we look up there, that's 46 now to 44 for the Ordi or with, with the Bulldogs with the lead. Two points. We're going to go ahead and take a timeout. And it looks like it. We invite you to stay at one of the newest hotels in Great Falls. Warm, friendly atmosphere and a friendly staff that's ready to assist you in your every need. When you check in, this is the kind of room you will receive. Clean and comfortable, where you get wonderful breakfast and how about a nice glass of wine upon your check-in. Easy check-in with your professional team to assist you. Make your next reservation at the Gibson, downtown Great Falls. ready to unleash your awesome? Then you need 8 gig all fiber internet from TDS. 
You'll have the powerful internet you need to stream, game, learn, and work today, and be prepared to take on anything new you can dream up tomorrow. Imagine internet you'll never outgrow. Get 8 gig all fiber internet from TDS and embrace infinite possibility. Far side of the field, Stepney. And the last starter out there is Pitcher. And to get the ball inside, there's going to be Be Belich. He's working his way inside the paint. They're going to have a reach foul. Probably going to be a foul on Stepney. There I am guessing again. Looked to me like he was reaching. And it's only the second foul on the Bulldogs. So there's two fouls been called on the Ordeggers. So nobody's close to shooting bonuses yet. Coming on for Tech. That's going to be, oh, okay. He's back out there on the floor as Year goes to the bench. And they come in, and that's going to be Lawrence. He takes the ball all the way in the hole, gets rid of it to Decons. Decons love floater, no good. And the rebound is no good. And coming out of there finally is going to be the Bulldogs. Nice job getting on the board is Haverfield. And now in the front court, here comes Bethel. Bethel over the left-hand side to Haverfield. They're out on him. They're not going to let him shoot. But they are going to let, they are going to let Stepney shoot. And that's a bad idea as well. And he makes that three, and now they've got a five-point lead. Now we're coming down. And we have Hayden Decons taking the heart of the hole. Stepping in front of him is a Dato. And uh, it is a good block call. Dato was late getting there. Abby picks up the foul. That's going to be his first foul of the ball game. And it is going to send Hayden Decons to the free throw line. Now Hayden, I don't think I've seen him at the free throw line yet tonight. He has not. Left hand stroke. And that one's off the front of the rim. No good. And they're down five with 16-13 to play. Bulldogs smelling an upset. Long ways to go in this basketball game. That free throw's up and good. Now the lead's down to five. 16-13 to play. And there's going to be a full timeout on the floor. So at the 6-13 mark with the Bulldogs up 49-45, we're gone for a minute. KQDI, 1450 AM. Give it to me. Okay, I want a quarter pounder with cheese and no onions. Six piece McNuggets. And extra pickles. And can I get uh, medium fries? Ooh, an Oreo McFlurry. Make that too. <laughs> okay, two McFlurry. When everyone wants something special, order ahead in the app to save time. The rivalry going back decades. And now they're meeting in the first semifinals here on the floor in Pacific Steel and Recycling, Great Falls, Montana as the Frontier Conference is going to figure out who's going to be their conference champions. And uh, I'd have to say right now that uh, Tech, they're going to go to the Nationals regardless how they turn out in this tournament. But uh, Bulldogs are going to have to win this thing outright if they're going to move on. Of course, nobody's won this conference championship uh, that didn't have part of the uh, regular season championship for like 10 years since that's happened. So Tech is, is the favorite to do it. And they get the ball, that's Bethel working on the far side. Bakes got him, works his way inside, up and out of the basket. That's a good. Beautiful move in the hole there by Kevin Bethel. And now it's 51-45 as Bake brings to the front court. He drops the ball off in the hands of Okake. Okake back to Lawrence. Tries to get it inside. Lawrence got it swatted right back at him. He knew what to do with it. He put it up and in for two. And now Bethel. Bake's going to pick him up in the front court. He's working on the right side of the floor. There's Okake trying to set a free floor. Excuse me, that's going to be a dado setting that pick. And we're going to have a foul. It's going to go against Tech. It's going to be Bulldog ball, and they'll probably go right over there in front of their bench, taking it out over there on that far side. That's going to be Haverfield. He's got Decons in front of him. As they're looking for where to get the ball in, they look for Stepney. That doesn't work, but Odato does. 
And he takes a couple dribbles, picks up, up to out of the key. Haverfield, he's trying to back his way inside against Lawrence. Too far, he gets under the basket, no good. Rebound comes off. Stepney had it, and then he goes up and gets his own rebound again, and now we're going to have a foul. And it's going to go against Stepney, I think. Or is it going to be Bethel? I'm not going to guess. They're going to give it to Bethel. His fourth. That is a hurtsome foul for the Bulldogs. He's their point guard and a darn fine one. He's going to have to go to the bench. Fortunately for them, they have another good point guard coming off the bench to take his spot. And that's going to be Quincy Taylor. And here come the front court. Bake. Bake over to Belich. Decons. Head of the keys. And we're going to swing it around to Lawrence. Lawrence free throw line. He's going to kick. Beautiful pass. Get the ball over there in the hands of of uh, OKK, but uh, he's fouled as he goes up to, he was going to slam that ball. The Bulldogs said, no, you're not. They'll put him at the free throw line to shoot two. Picking up his third foul. That's going to go against Stepney. Another one they can only afford to have sitting on the bench. At the line is going to be Ifanyi. OKK, up and in. Cuts that lead to a three-point ball game, one possession. OKK's okay, got one more for coming. He's out of Rancho Cucamonga, California. That's one of my favorite towns to say. Rancho Cucamonga. Makes a second free throw, two-point game. Okay, in front court, here comes Taylor. Taylor on the dribble. Red bake on him, wants to work on the right-hand side. He hands the ball up to Haverfield. Haverfield switches direction, goes over the right-hand side. Stepney down there. And I think you're going to call it Rance for running right over the top of a pick. A dado's on the floor. And if you hit that man powerful enough to knock him down, that's a foul. And for Lawrence, it'll be his first. And Haverfield gets it in to Taylor. Taylor with Bake in front of him. A dado going to set a pick. Screen moves out of there. Not a ball to Haverfield. Haverfield catches a dado on the baseline. A dado being guarded tightly over there as he tries to back in Okake. And so it's a dado against Okake. I've been waiting for that matchup. Little hook shot, it's no good. Rebound comes off. Stepney's got it. He takes it inside. His shot's no good. Now they're working out there, and now he's finally coming out of the rebound. This is going to be OKK. And he gets the ball front court. There's Belich. Cross court pass. Lawrence. No, Hayden Decons. He's going to take it inside. He ran right over the top of the defense. And they're going to call it on the defense. Half the gym didn't like that call. It's going to go against Taylor. And it's going to be baseline. That's going to be the fifth, no, sixth foul on the Bulldogs. So from now on, Tech will be shooting free throws. This time, however, they're going to get the ball on the baseline. Bake to take it out. Bake looking to get it over in the corner, and he does to Okake. To Belich, far side, Lawrence. You have the ball in the corner. They're a set play for Bake, but the defense is on him. Now Okake, baseline. He's going to try to take Stepney inside. He's going to take him in there, and he turns around, spins a little shot from the paint. And that's going to be Hayden Decons with a nice little five-foot floater. And now we're not at the 51s at the 14-minute mark. Stepney into the front court. He's got Lawrence in front of him. He goes ahead of the key. That's going to be Adato, left-hand side. And that's going to be Taylor. Taylor, one dribble. Now bakes it in his face as he throws the ball into Okake. He's trying to work. No, Adato, he's trying to work his way inside. Bake steals it. Bake gets it to Lawrence. Lawrence, layup, up, layup, good. Nice job by Bake. That was a beautiful lead pass as they go ahead and take the lead now. Or Diggers 53, Bulldogs 51, worth a 13-38 mark. And there's going to be a timeout on the floor. And what are we going to be? We're going to be 30, we're going to be a minute. Everybody's still standing, so it's looking like a 30-second timeout. Yes, we'll be back in 30 seconds. KQDI, 1450 AM. Some places try to get away with skimming a little off the top. Not on my joint. Godfather's Pizza doesn't cut any corners. Our dough is freshly made every day. We don't sprinkle on a little cheese. We pile on 100% real mozzarella. And we ain't chintzy with the toppings, neither. Every pizza is loaded with the highest quality meat and fresh veggies. And nobody, I mean nobody, can compete with our specialty pies. Like taco, humble pie, classic combo. Don't settle for skimpy. Get the real deal at Godfather's Pizza. It's a barn burner. I read an article somewhere that the Frontier Conference is going to Great Falls to play their tournament in a barn. I thought that was a very inappropriate thing to say. This may not be the best facility in the world, but it's not a barn. It's a nice basketball facility. they got a great floor and plenty of room for everybody to come watch this ball game as the uh, Bulldogs have the ball. They're down two points as they bring it into the front court. 
and they do get it there. Now they got out on the floor. There's going to be number 21. That's Tolson who's out there now. He's got the ball at the head of the key. That's going to be Taylor. Taylor guarded by Bake. Gives him a little head spin. He's in the paint. Kicks it out in the corner. And now they're going to take the ball in the paint again. Once again, that's going to be Stepney. Stops. His shot's no good. Deacons with the rebound. Gets the ball to Bake, and Bake will bring it in the front court. Over here on the right-hand side, Lawrence. Lawrence goes right by everybody, up and under the basket. Not a good shot selection. But playing the good defense and knocking that ball out of there is going to be okay. okay. Lawrence, he's hustling. we got five bodies on the fourth, the half-court line. Jump ball situation, possession arrow. Stays right here with Tech. There's no lack of hustle out there on the floor right now, including among the young men that are using those uh, mops to <laughs> get the sweat off the floor. So right in front of me is going to be Belich. He's last year's player of the year. He's going to get the ball into Bake. Bake, he's going to work over there on the left-hand side. Drops that ball off to Lawrence. Lawrence, you look at that three. Nobody's on him, so he'll shoot it. He'll miss it. Coming out of there with it. Playing the good defense, getting that rebound is going to be Tolson. Tolson's going to bring in the front court. Now Bake's got him there. Wants to work the ball ahead of the key. That's Taylor. Taylor on the dribble. He's got Lawrence with him. He's working his way over the left-hand side as they set up a play. Does a couple of dribbles. Has to pick up his dribble. Goes inside. That's going to be Okake. Okake. He's got... Excuse me, pick and get my numbers right. That's going to be Pitcher that had the ball down there. Shot goes up, it's no good. Coming out of there, the rebound now, Decons. Decons, free throw line, beautiful pass underneath Lorenz. Lorenz got a layup. Beautiful assist the last couple times down the floor as Tech's doing a great job moving that ball around. And now they're up four. And here comes Taylor, front court, right hand side. That's going to be Haverfield over there, guarded by Decons. He's going to shoot right over the top of Decons. And he was three for four from the three-point line. Now he's three for five. Coming out of the rebound is going to be Lawrence. Quickly to Bake. Front court, Decons. Decons back to Bake, and they're going to set up the offense. Right side. That's going to be taken into the hole. That's going to be Belich. Belich. Shots up. Shots good. Just two or two points, but Belich has got another basket, and now it's a six-point lead. Still two possessions as Taylor brings to the front court. Tries to go on the right-hand side. Good defense being played out there by Okiki to cut him off. And now they get the ball, three-point shot up. Beautiful. That's going to be Pitcher with a three-pointer. Cuts that lead to three points, 57-54. It's spelled Okiki, but it's pronounced OKK. The things they do to us announcers. And now with the ball, that's going to be Belich. Belich, he's at the free-throw line. Stops there, good defense being played on him by Haverfield. And now it's going to be Belich again at the head of the key. Now he's being guarded by Pitcher. Gets the ball to Bake. Bake's running out of time. He's got it down the lane. Shots up. Oh, beautiful job of shielding the ball with his body. Gets a two-point layup on that. Giving up a lot of size in there, but he did a great job keeping his body between him and the defense. And he's got another basket. Five-point lead by Tech. And now with the ball, head of the key, taking it inside. That's going to be Taylor. His shot. It's off the rim. No good. Deacon says the rebound. He'll go the ball to Belich. And Tech is back on the attack. And now Bake. Bake with Taylor guarding him as they set up that tech offense. He's going to come over here on the right-hand side. Decons instead of pick. Ball goes back to Decons. He's at the left-hand side looking for something on the right. To Lawrence. Lawrence is going to go right inside. They're going to get a foul while he's on the ground. And he's going to get, pick up that foul. That's going to go against Caden Tolson. I think Caden, I think that's his first. It is. And it is the seventh foul, however, on the Bulldogs. That's going to send... Lawrence to the free throw line. Camden Lawrence, 6'3", junior out of Hellgate. He'll go for the line to Tech, try to stretch that lead out to more than a two possession there at 59-54 now. First free throw, nope, that's off the front of the rim, no good. The only place you ever see that one and one anymore is in men's college basketball. The old knee knocker, he got another one. You're effectively 0 for 2 when you miss that front one. And now they're working over there. Has, that's Bethel. He's back out there with his four fouls. He's got the ball over on the right-hand side, looking for something to do. Uh, offense is doing a lot of stand around. Now they're going to set a pick for him. Works his way over here on the left-hand side. Tolson, he takes it inside, up and under the basket, and misses the shot. Coming out of the way, playing the good defense. is going to be Okake. He's in the front court. Has to pick up his dribble on the far side. Nobody's guarding a ramps. He's wide open for a three on the wing. He misses it. And Adato gets the rebound for the Bulldogs. Gets the ball to Bethel. Bethel will bring it in the front court. He's over on the right-hand side. Bake will be in front of him. And they're trying to set a pick to get Bake off him. Doesn't work. Instead, he goes over to Tolson. He's going to try that same shot again. This time, Lawrence fouls him. The up and under didn't work last time. He got a foul out of this time. He's going to go to the free throw line. 
And Lawrence is going to pick up a foul. That Camden is going to be his second. And going to the free throw line, Caden Tolson. He's a 6'4 forward. He's out of Idaho Falls, Idaho, just a sophomore. Free throws on the way. It's good. One more coming as we have a substitute coming on the floor. And it's going to be coming on. It's going to be Bridger Deeden, another Hellgate's ball player, is out there for Tech. And this free throw is on the way, and that one rolls out no good. Deeden's got the rebound. He gets it to Bake, and they're up four points as he brings it into the front court. Bake, head of the key, being guarded right there by Bethel with his four fouls. Bake fakes him off of him, goes left-hand side. Deeden, baseline, Williams. Williams looking to get it in the year if he can. He's going to dribble in there. Year's going to set a pick, try to free him up in the baseline. Bake now, head of the key. He's at the paint, stops, can't get any shot off. Goes over to Williams. He can get a shot off. Ten-foot baseline, good. And with that, the basketball got away. And referee Summerfield's got something going on over there. He and Coach Hyatt are at odds at something. Nobody got a foul. Nobody did anything. It's still going to be Bulldog ball. I think, I think they're going to say that leave your hands off the basketball after it goes through the hoop. A lot of teams like to set up that quick, fast break, and if you bat the ball through the hoop, it makes it difficult to do. That was their warning. And now we've got Tolson, left-hand side, trying to go baseline. is going to be at 8 And they're going to say he's held. And that's year going to pick up a foul. Well, no, that would be third foul on year. Michael's got to be careful inside there. He's guarding a dado, and that's tough duty. Looking to get the ball inside, and they do. And they get the ball in the hands of Berkeley, who's out there. He gets it swatted out of his hands. It's going to go out of bounds. Still going to be Bulldog ball. They're still down 61-55. There's 8.56 to play here in the second half. Coach is calling in orders from the sideline there. And they're going to try to send who? They get the ball to Tolson. Tolson, now there's going to be Stepney. He's at the center circle on the dribble, working over on the right-hand side. And he's got Williams on him. He comes back to Tolson. Tolson hands the ball off. That's Bethel. Bethel's going to try to get inside Decons. Can't do it. Has to go back to the head of the key. Three-pointer on the way. That's Stepney. He's got three points, and now it's a three-point game. And Bake is in the front court, up three. And they're going to try to set his pick. He's got Deaton trying to get him a three-pointer. That isn't going to work. Goes Williams. Williams right side to Bake. Head of the key. Left side, there's Decons. Decons with a dribble at the head of the key. Good defense being played on him by Dato. He goes inside. I think that was a pass. It was up behind the rim. I think he was trying to get the ball to either Deaton and Year, who both were kind of knocking each other off the ball. And it gets knocked out of bounds. It will stay with Tech. Multiple substitutions coming on as that Haverfield comes back on. Berkeley to the bench, Tolson to the bench. That means one other player came on there. See if I can pick him out. And I can't. Baseline, Tech. Bake throws it in. Gets inside to Deaton. Deaton goes over the top. And we got Bellick with a three on the way. It's no good. And they're going to say years on the back, I'm sure. I guess I'm not that sure. Because Adato is acting like he's been sorely offended out there. And now Coach Jensen, he's thinking they were sorely offended. As the call goes against Adato. Oh, they're going to call it on. They're going to call it on Stepney. Okay, that's his fourth. And at the free throw line, Michael Ure with the free throw on the way, and it's good. And now it's a four-point game. Refs are seeing a different game than I am. I saw the foul, too, but I thought it was a, a dado, maybe, or even Ure on the back. Instead, they found, found, found Stepney. Second free throw is good. Now it's a five-point game, 8-14 to play. With the ball, bringing in the front court. That's going to be Bethel. He's out there with four fouls. Bakes got him. Working on the head of the key. Gives the ball to Adeo. Abby takes one jab step. Now he's going to try to take it inside. You got year on him. Those two big bodies bang. Comes over the head of the key. That's going to be in the hands of Quincy Taylor. Beautiful pass. Cutting the hole. That's going to be a layup for Pitcher. Excuse me. Did I say that Haverfield got that basket. And then in the front court's Bake. Bake being guarded out there. Closely by Bethel. Now Williams with Stepney on him. And they get the shot in. It's no good. Rebound comes off. And Year has got it. And we're going to have a foul. And they're going to call that one. I'm not going to guess who they called that one on. The way Adato acts, he acts like every foul is on him. And no, they're going to send Stepney to the bench with his fifth. That is a huge, huge loss. 
for the Bulldogs. That's 19 fouls, so it's still a one and one going to the free throw line. Is going to be Bridger Deaton. Buckley's out there now with the dado. Quincy Jackson and Bethel Haverfield. That's your lineup out there for Western right now. As the first free throw is up and good, and it's a four point game again. And with one more coming. For the 6'5 senior. Up off the back of the rim, no good. Sky for the rebound is Haverfield. He gets knocked to the floor. And somebody was doing some pushing. Is that that's the seventh foul on the Ore Diggers? That's going to send Bulldog down to shoot some free throw. Year picks up the foul. That's going to be his fourth. There are a lot of players out there with four fouls. And one on the bench with five. As Michael Haverfield, he's going to go to the free throw line. He's a 6'4 junior. He's right out of Dillon, Montana. Playing for the hometown team. Excellent shooter, excellent scorer for Coach Pat Jensen. He's in his first year coaching down there. There's uh, three first-year coaches on the boys' side. They got him. They got uh, uh, Carroll's coach. Uh, he's in his first year. That's going to be Ryan Lundgren. And, of course, the Argos have J.C. Isaacson in his first year. Free throws up. Free throws good. You got both of them. It's a two-point game. 7.33 to play here in the second half. Orgigers by two, they got the ball. Dixon's back out there, he gives the ball to Bellich, and they do a little weave across the top to Hayden, ends up in the hands of Williams. Williams goes far side, that's gonna be Bellich, he's gonna take it in the paint, good defense being played on him. Bethel knocks the ball free, but coming in and picking up the ball was gonna be, who's that over there, that's Okike. And he stepped on the sideline with that steal. And so the ball's gonna go back over to the Bulldogs. Bethel. He's going to bring in the front court at the 7-14 mark. Working over the right-hand side. He's got Dixon on him. He's at the head of the key now. And now he's going to take it in and try to take Dixon inside. Instead, he goes out. And there's a three-pointer by Haverfield. He's hot today. He's got that one. And now it's uh, all knotted up at 64s. And in the front court at the 6-55 mark comes Dixon. Working over there on the left-hand side. He's going to get a pick set, try to free him up. Instead, he gets the ball to Hayden. Decons hands the ball off. Bellich, a little give. There's a goal. Wasn't there. Baseline, Okage. Okay. He's got Bethel in front of him with four fouls. Just well taken inside. He does. That's good for two. Bethel, he's not much good out there with four fouls with those big guys down low. He's already got one of his guards fouled out of it. He doesn't need the second one. And now Bethel, he's got the ball. Good. Okage, okay. he's reaching. He got him. He doesn't think he did, but he did. You can plead to the referee all you want. That's still going to be a foul on you. And that's going to be his fourth. So a lot of flowers of players with four fouls. 6.26 to play here with the Bulldog Ordriggers up 66-64. There's a timeout on the floor. And everybody's standing, so it looks like it's going to be a 30-second timeout. So we'll take 30 seconds with them. This is KQDI, 1450 AM. The Heritage Inn is just off I-15 in Great Falls and minutes from the C.M. Russell Museum, the Lewis and Clark Interpretive Center, Giant Springs State Park, and many other attractions. You'll be near Malmstrom Air Force Base, Great Falls International Airport, and the River's Edge Trail along the Missouri River. After a day of travel, sightseeing, or fly fishing, unwind in the hot tub and take a dip in our heated pool. There's an exercise facility and a steam room. We have a full range of dining and entertainment options, including the Max Casino and Sports Bar, the Palomino Coffee Bar, and the Willow Creek Restaurant. Your accommodations will include satellite TV, in-room movies, a refrigerator, a microwave, a coffee and tea maker, and high-speed Wi-Fi. For an unforgettable trip to Great Falls, make your reservation at the Heritage Inn. Still? Yeah. How many pages got left? 30. Break time. Good looking out. I got you. <laughs> Buy one, get one for a dollar is back. So double up or mix and match. Ba -da -ba -ba -ba. See if they can pick up a win in the semifinals. The winner of that, of course, will play the winner of this game. And that game is scheduled for 5 o'clock tomorrow afternoon right here at the Four Seasons. That play-in game I was talking about earlier, that's, uh, that's actually going to take place over at the McLaughlin Center. First free throws on the way. It's up and good. And Bethel gets him within one. 
6'2", junior out of Los Angeles. He's got one more free throw coming. This is a nice high arcer, and that one's off the back of the rim. No good. Ball gets swatted out, and Bethel's got it. And they're going to set that Bulldog offense down one. He's at the head of the key, guarded out there by Dixon. He's going to try to set a pick to frame up, and they get him free. He gets into the oaks. Inside the uh, Dato, he gets the ball kicked out. We've got a three-pointer on the way. That's up, and that's good. And that's Quincy Taylor. And now it's a three-point, excuse me, two-point lead by the Bulldogs. And in the front court comes Dixon. Dixon gets the ball to Decon. So that, excuse me, that's Bellich. Bellich working on the far side with Haverfield on him, backing him inside. Still backing him inside. He's in the paint. What's he going to do? Kicks it over here to Dixon. Head of the key. Decons, Decons. You're going to get Berkeley. He's got him in the paint. Shots up. It's off the front of the rim. No good. Rebound comes off. Berkeley's got it. He gets the ball to Taylor. And with 5.42 to play and the two-point lead, here comes the Bulldogs into the front court. Working over there on the left-hand side. They're going to free him up. Good job by OKK to cut off that. And now it's going to be Adato with OKK on him. He gets the ball. Beautiful defense by Decons. Oh, he slots that ball out of there. Asa Williams, he's coming down. He's got Taylor in front of him. Euro step. We got little bodies on the floor. Uh-oh, we got uh, one holding his nose and going down to the floor looking like he's hurt. Uh, that's going to be Quincy Taylor. And they're going to call. Are they going to call the foul on Quincy Taylor? I think they are. It's going to send Asa Williams to the free throw line to shoot a couple. Taylor gets up the floor holding his nose. He's got his shirt over it. That means he's probably bleeding. They've already got one of their guards on the bench with the foul out of the game. That's Stepney. they got another one, Bethel. He's got four fouls. And now Quincy Taylor's got a bloody nose. And they're just going to have to lead him off to the locker room. They're looking to see if there's any blood on the floor. I don't know. That was quite a collision in there. Williams is going full speed. and Taylor stepped right in front of him. Side of these guys out there, I wouldn't step in front of any of them. I think the smallest guy on the floor is... He's not out there now. It's Keeley Bacon. I wouldn't get in front of him either. And now we're going to have some substitutes. That's coming on. It's going to be Lawrence going to the bench. It's going to be... Who's stepping off over there? Bellick is the one going off. Williams to the free throw line. He'll be shooting too. And that gets him within one. Ace has got one more coming. Out of Salon, Ohio. 6'6", senior. And he rattles that one out. No good. Rebound comes off. Tolson's got it for the Bulldogs. Gets it right to Bethel. And Bethel's going to bring it up against Dixon. Dixon pestering him all the way up the floor. Now he's in the front court working on the right-hand side. Coming to the head of the key. That's Adato. Adato. He's going to take it inside. And OKK, he's going to. Oh, he could have the dunk. Instead, he takes the layup. Nice take to the hole, though. Nobody's going to get in front of him. And now it's a three-point Bulldog lead in the front court. It's Dixon. Dixon's head of the key, looking inside to Okike. He gets the ball, keeps him going out of bounds. He's working hard against Tolson, getting a foul. I think they're going to say Tolson's doing some pushing out there. And that will send Okike to the free throw line. And it's just a second foul on Tolson. And if, if on the Okike, he's at the free throw line. He's a junior. He's six foot seven, And I have to say it, he's out of Rancho Cucamonga, California. Free throws on the way, and it's good. And now it's a two-point game. I think OKK, did he used to play for Carroll? I think he did. Free throws up and good. And now it's a one-point game. 4.58 to play. Bulldog 70, or Digger 69. There's a timeout on the floor. And with that timeout, it's going to be a full one. We'll be back in a minute. KQDI, 1450 AM. 97.5 FM. Montana has one of the highest suicide rates in the United States. Suicide impacts people of all ages, genders, and ethnicities. On average, 300 Montanans die each year by suicide. Our best chance of stopping suicide is to stop the stigma. 
It's time to talk openly and honestly about mental health issues. Together, let's take the pledge to be allies against suicide. Let's talk about it. Let's talk about it. Let's talk about it. First game on the semifinal. It's been tight the whole way. It's the number one team. The Ore Diggers are down by one right now to the Bulldogs, and the Bulldogs have the ball. And we're going to see a little full court pressure now. And they get the ball in, and they get it in the hands of Bethel. Bethel being guarded by Dixon. going to set a pick to free him up, and now he's in the front court. Working at the center circle, working over on the right-hand side. That's where Adato is. He's going to vacate there, go down, set a pick, as he tried to get the ball in the hands of Haverfield. Haverfield, he's been hot from the three-point land. Now they get the ball left-hand side, and that's going to be Berkeley. Berkeley trying to get the ball ahead of the key. He's going to have to dribble it over to Bethel. Bethel, within five seconds, he's going to have to do something quick. Goes over on the right-hand side. There's Tolson. Tolson he goes off his foot, goes out of bounds, and there's a 30-second clock, and it's going to go back over to Tech. Nice defense by Tech, not allowing a, a shot that time. And now down one, they get the ball. Decons will take it out over there in front of the scoring bench. And first, having a conversation over there with Coach Hyatt. As usual, I'm on the radio. I have no idea what they're talking about. They are going to give the ball to Hayden. Hayden's going to give it to Dixon. We're off and playing. Dixon with head of the key. Now it's going to be Asa Williams. He's got Haverfield in front of him. Does a couple dribbles. Frees himself up. He's got Okake down on the baseline. Okake tries to take it inside. Defense cuts him off. He puts a shot up. It's no good. Rebound comes off. Adato's got it. Gets the ball to Bethel and up one. Here comes Bulldogs into the front court as we're going to roll underneath four minutes on this possession. On the left, right-hand side comes left-hand side. There's going to be Haverfield. He's going to launch a three. He is feeling it, I'm telling you. Haverfield with another three-pointer. Amazing shooting display he's putting on today. And here comes Okake. He's coming to this one. He had a dunk. He chose not to do it. He ends up missing the shot. Coming out with it, it's going to be the Bulldogs. And now they're down up four, and they have the ball. 3.41 to play. That was a big miss right at the rim for Tech. And now it's going to be Bethel. Bethel with Dixon in front of him. They're going to set a pick, try to pick him off of there. They don't get the job done. Goes over to Haverfield on the side. Not a good pass. Haverfield couldn't get his hands on it. Goes out of bounds. And now down four, it's going to be Tech ball as multiple substitutions come on. Bake is on. Year is on. Belich is on. Still keeping Hayden out there. Decons. And Williams will stay on the floor as well. And in the front court comes Bake. Bake with Bethel in front of him. Goes left-hand side. That's Year, Year. Now to Belich, he's going to put up a three of his own. That's nothing but net. Belich, he's a shooter. And now it's a one-point game with 3.17 to play. With the ball is going to be Bethel. He's going to bring in the front court. Wants to work over the right-hand side. you got Bake in front of him. They're going to try to set a pick, get rid of Bake. That doesn't work. Now they got it, uh, 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 a dado. And Williams playing the good defense. He's got a steal. Little Euro step. Left. It's no good. Decons follows. Saves it from going out of bounds. He saves it to Williams. Now they're going to set up the offense. Nice hustle by the Decons to get down there. That could have easily just been over to the Bulldogs had he not been hustling. And now it's Decons. He's at the head of the key. We're looking on the left-hand side. That's Belich. Belich looking down on the right and left-hand side. Williams. Williams goes baseline. He's going to put up three from the wing. Up and in. Asa Williams from deep in the corner. And now it's 75-73. to 73, A two-point lead for the Ordiggers. 2.37 to play here in the second half. And there's another timeout there on the floor. So with that timeout, Looks like everybody's standing, everybody's sitting. I've got to get an indication from these referees whether they're going to be gone for 30 or... or a we invite you to stay at one of the newest hotels in Great Falls. Warm, friendly atmosphere and a friendly staff that's ready to assist you in your every need. When you check in, this is the kind of room you will receive. Clean and comfortable, where you get wonderful breakfast and how about a nice glass of wine upon your check-in? Easy check-in with your professional team to assist you. Make your next reservation at the Gibson, downtown Great Falls. The other guys, they think they know what special means. At Godfather's Pizza, we do special, and we do it better. We add the T. There's a Godfather's Specialty Pizza with your name on it. Classic combo, all-meat combo, hot stuff, taco, yeah, even veggie, and more. All of them piled high with the best toppings and 100% real cheese. Treat yourself special. Order specialty pizzas from Godfather's Pizza.
It's a wonderful basketball game. You should be here watching. We do have a nice crowd on hand. You know, we got the Argos coming up. Uh, Carol's in town. Carol always follows their team so well. And, of course, uh, Tech's got a bunch of fans up here, too, as do the Bulldogs. Talking with Doug Hashey, the AD for uh, uh, Argos here in town. They're really happy with the attendance. Uh, we've got uh, Scott Campbell, the commissioner in town, talking about what a, what a well-run tournament it has been, and he's right. Uh, they're doing a very fine job. But uh, now we're going to get finish up this first game. This whole lot like last year. I did these games last year, too, and uh, uh, in the semifinals, it was Tech and Rocky, and that came down to a two-point game. And then the championship game, it was Tech and the Argos, and that went to overtime. So there's not a whole lot of difference in these teams. They're all multi-talented. And now Bethel. He's in the front court over to there to Taylor. He's back out there. Got the bloody nose stop. Goes down on the a dado. He kicks it back out. Going to have a three-point shot up there by Taylor. And it's up and it's good. And now it's a one-point lead for the Bulldogs. 76-75, 2.15 to play as Bake brings it into the front court down one. Goes to Belich. Belich to Decons. Decons picks up his dribble. Go back door to Belich. And playing a little bit of too much defense is going to be Berkeley. He's going to get fouled. Call to the foul. That's going to send Bethel. Bellage, excuse me, to the free throw line. Third foul called on Jackson Berkeley. And at the free throw line is going to be Caleb Bellick. And he is, he's not been to the free throw line in this game. He'll get to shoot. It's uh, two now. Everything is two on the Bulldogs. And it's a good thing because the first one doesn't go in. Still with a chance to tie. And Belich with his second one. He's out of Manhattan, Montana. Free throws up and good. We're all knotted at 76s. 205 to play. And Bethel. He's going to bring it in the front court. Bake's going to pick him up there. He wants to work down on the right hand side. He switches off to year. And now it's a dado. A dado far side. That's going to be Taylor. He's going to try to take the ball inside. Shots up. No good. Fouled in the act of shooting, though. And he's going to go to the free throw line. And they're going to call that the fifth foul, and Michael Year's day is done. He's going to go to the bench, and it's going to be coming on for him. Okay, he's back out there. Free throw line. Quincy Taylor, 6'2", junior. He's out of Sacramento, California. Left-hand shot is up, and it's good. One more coming. Old rivals. Tech and... Tech and Western. Not a lot of love lost between these two programs. Second free throws up, and that one's good as well. And now it's a two-point lead. As coming in the front court, Bake. Bake to Bellich. Bellich with his back to the basket, gives it to Econ. Working his way across the top. Now Asa Williams. He's got Quincy Taylor guarding him. He's going to set a pick left, right. He goes left. Now he's got Berkeley on him with his fouls. He goes inside. Beautiful layup up and in. And we're knotted up again at 78 with a minute 28 to play. And Bethel gets the ball in the front. Taylor, Taylor's going to bring it in the front court. He's working over there on the far side right in front of his bench. Picks up the ball, head of the key, goes down to the baseline. That's a Dado. He's going to try to go against OKK. OKK trying to bump him out of there. A Dado's got the size spin move inside. Shots up, shots good. Nice little spin shot. And now it's Bulldogs by two. And Bake with the ball. And Bake's going to bring it in the front court. Look at his coach. Going to call a timeout? No, we're going to play it out. You got Bethel on him. They're going to set a pick. Free him up. Tries to get the ball to Okake. Bake free throw line. Shots off the back of the rim. No good. Okake with the rebound. Gets the ball out to Williams. Williams, he's going to look at a three. He's got that one on the way. The shot is good, and he's fouled. What a big shot by Asa Williams. Gives him the lead. With that three-pointer, they're up 81-80, to and he's going to go to the free throw line. And fouling out of the ball game. No, that's still a year that they still have there. That's Jackson Buckley with a foul. It's going to be a bunch on him, but that's his fourth, not his fifth. And Asa Williams, chance to make a four-point play. What a big shot that was. Three-pointer, and he got hammered by the big guy. And it goes in. We still have 49 seconds to play as Asa goes to the free throw line. He's a senior out of Solano, Ohio, and that one's no good, but he hustles in there. He knocks the ball out, and it goes over in the hands of Haverfield, and it's going to be Bulldog ball and Bulldog timeout. So we have 46.9 seconds left to play in this ball game. Four diggers have 81, Bulldogs have 80, and we're going to take a timeout, and we are going to be gone for a minute. We'll be back. KQDI, 1450 AM. 
Are you ready to unleash your awesome? Then you need 8 gig all fiber internet from TDS. You'll have the powerful internet you need to stream, game, learn, and work today, and be prepared to take on anything new you can dream up tomorrow. Imagine internet you'll never outgrow. Get 8 gig all fiber internet from TDS and embrace infinite possibility. Yes, Frontier Basketball at its best, folks. This game has been tight back and forth the whole way. Right now, the conference champion, Tech, trying to go for a three-peat here that hasn't been done since 85 when they did it. They're all on the line right now against the Western. The Bulldogs are down one, but they got the ball. It'll be Haverfield to take it out. He's got Taylor down there. He's got Bethel to get it to. Full court pressure by Tech. He goes to Taylor, back over to Bethel. And now that fade defense fades away as they go back to their man-to-man -man defense down on that end of the floor. Bethel, he's on the right-hand side. Lawrence on him, goes over to Adato. He's going to take OKK inside. He's got a shot up there. It's up, and it's good. Took him right down to the hole. Now it's a one-point lead by the Bulldogs. 32 seconds to play. And front court comes Dixon. He wants a timeout. Coach Hyatt's going to set up something. 29 seconds left to go here in the ball game, and now they're down a one. And with that, let's just be gone for 30 seconds. I hate to be gone for a minute. And so let's take a break. 30 seconds, KQDI. 14.50 a.m. This season, score big with one of our many cars under $30,000. Talk about winning plays. Our financing team is here to help you with affordable options. We offer payments under $500, and that means more money for your fantasy football bets. With our certified pre-owned lineup, every car is thoroughly inspected, so you can drive with confidence. That means getting to the game without worry. Just over the hill from high prices. And welcome back. We've only got 29 seconds left to go on this ball game, and it's been a dandy, but we want you to stick around because when this one's over, the hometown Argos are going to come out, and they're going to be playing Carroll College. And uh, Carroll's got a great team. They've got uh, Andrew Cook as their leading scorer, likely the player of the year in this conference, which is saying a lot because there's a lot of really good players. But he's led them in scoring the whole way. And uh, Carroll is a team that wasn't expected to do much. Uh, depleted roster, new coach. They were picked towards the bottom of the standings, and they have been surprising everybody with their play, and Andrew Cook's been a lot of the reason why that is. And, of course, when the guys are over, the gals take the play, and it's going to be their number one team on the girls' side, gal side, and that's going to be Carroll College. They're going to be coming out, and they're going to be playing the Western Bulldogs. And with that, let's get the ball into Bake. We're underway. He's coming over here at the top of the key. He's got Bethel on him. Now he's going to give the ball to Bellick. Bellick goes to try to go back to her. That ball's kicked. And with 22 seconds left, it's going to be Tech ball baseline. Whatever play they drew up, it's not going to be that play now. They're bringing it in from a different part of the floor. It'll be the baseline under their own basket. they got 22 seconds to make up one point. It'll be Keely Bake throwing it in. He's got him in the box around the paint. OKK is right in front of him. Now they're going to set some picks, try to get somebody inside. Instead, they go to Williams. Williams is going to take it off the head of the key. He's got Taylor guarding him. On the dribble, going to set a pick. Going to work him off the left-hand side. Still on the dribble. Now he's got a dado on him. Working the body inside the paint. Adato's with him. He goes up, left. It's no good. Rebound comes off. Okk has got it. His shot's up. It's no good, but he knocks it back in. Beautiful job by Okk at the rim here. 5.1 seconds. There's a timeout on the floor. Williams took it hard to the hole. He misses the layup. He shot it right-handed on the left-hand side. Okk gets the rebound, puts that back. It's no good, but he's there to tap it right back in. And now it's the Ore Diggers by one with 5.1 seconds left to go here in the ball game, and we are at a timeout again. And this is just a 30-second timeout, so we don't really need to go anywhere. Of course, on the girls' side, there's going to be two ball games. The first one starts at 5, and then at the 7 o'clock game, you're going to get to see your hometown Lady Arrows come out there. They're the number two seed, and I think they get to play uh, Rocky. Uh, and uh, our Argo gals are well worth coming out to watch. They've got some really skilled players for Coach Himmelberg, and uh, people should come out and support both these teams. Our Argo men's team, our Argo gals team, both. Well worth the price of admission to come watch. And these 
Frontier Conference playoffs, they are just so much fun. It's the same story last year, just good game after good game. Nice crowds on hand to watch it, and uh, a lot of talent on the floor. This is where your, this is where most of your Montana kids end up uh, when they graduate. You're really good ones. I mean, every now and then we'll put somebody in the Division One, but that doesn't happen very often. But most of your stars that you see at the Class B, C, even the AA level, this is where they end up in this in this league. And they are loaded with uh, Montana talent, all of these teams, and they bring in some out-of-state talent to go with them in this highly competitive basketball. Uh, the six teams in the Frontier Conference, all of them in the state of Montana, and uh, they're going to send at least two to the Nationals and then maybe three, four of them. And uh, once they get there, they do exceedingly well. This is high-quality NAIA basketball. And now we got Tex out there on the floor. They're going to go for the last five seconds. They got Asa Williams out there. Decons is out there. Bake is out there. Oka K. And one more on the backside. That's Dixon. And here comes Taylor and Haverfield. Adato Berkeley. And who's that over there? It's got to be. Taken it inside. It's into Bethel. He was the other one who was out there. He gets the front court timeout. He was hiding. He was hiding from me and hiding from them. So we do have a timeout on the floor. And the starters are all going to sit down, so we're going to be gone for a minute. We'll be back. KQDI, 1450 AM. The excitement of this gym is amazing. It's a great basketball game. It's come down. There's 2.9 seconds left to go on the clock. The referees just went over there, adjusted a little bit. And so just about three seconds now for the Bulldogs to do something. They are down one point to the Ordeggers. They got the ball over here on the sideline. Taking it out is going to be Kevin Bethel, their point guard. He's out there with his four fouls, and now they're going to have another timeout. I saw that one coming. They saw how they were going to line up, and now the Tech calls the timeout to set up their own plans over there. And uh, once again, I think all they got left is minute timeouts. I don't see anybody sitting down, so I don't want to go worry. We'll just stick around right here. It's been great basketball, folks. Come on out and watch these games. And we got uh, three more yet to go today. It's uh, three, 1 o'clock, 3 o'clock, 5 o'clock, 7 o'clock. Makes it easy to remember. And, of course, the winners from today, these are the semifinals. They will meet in the finals tomorrow. Uh, the men's championship is going to be at 5 o'clock. The women's championship will be at 7 o'clock. And those are the two of the three games that we have left today. And they're going to see the Argos playing. Uh, the Argo men will be next on the floor uh, following this ball game as they play against Carroll College. Carroll with that uh, great men's basketball team they've got. It ought to be a whale of a ball game. So now we're going to go back. It's still going to be Bethel taking it out. He's got Haverfield on this side of the floor as well as Adato. Uh, those are the two guys that have been doing most of the scoring. And then, of course, you've got Quincy Taylor over there on the far side. Where are they going to go? And they're going to go to eight, eight, oh, no. They go out to Taylor. Taylor going to try to take inside. Little step back shot, three on the way. It's off the back rim, no good. And Montana Tech moves on. Quincy Taylor, what a nice shot, but it just went off the back of the rim. And we're going to have a final score up there. Congratulations to Coach Hyatt and his door diggers as they win 83-82 over the Western Bulldogs ending their season. What a great game by Western. They have nothing to hang their heads over. <laughs> they played some wonderful, wonderful basketball. They're just one point short of the conference champions. So the... The chance for the three-peat, it moves on. His dream is still alive for Montana Tech. And with that, why don't we go ahead and take a break. Uh, take a break for about a minute. I'll figure out who the scores were. Then we'll come back with a wrap-up of this game. And we'll get ready for the next one between the Argos and the Saints. Uh, still on the men's side. This is Glenn Lambert with the call. KQDI, 1450 AM. <laughs> 